I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Peta and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a vision board. You don't even know how excited I am to do this because it's my first time. I did see different kind of videos and I did notice that there are some similarities between them. Now, first things first is plan. In these videos, I saw to like open up your journal or in a piece of paper, write out your goals. What I did was I categorized them into what kinds of goals that I wanted to do. For example, health. I want to exercise every day. I want to start eating more healthy stuff like that and just put it under one category there's your finance there's your lifestyle there's like travel now you want to be very specific something else that i saw could write a letter to your beginning of the year self as if you were writing it as the end of the year self if that makes sense so basically like you're writing down what you achieved this year as if it already happened example they would be like oh, i went to the gym every day i ate healthier foods also writing down basically the identity that you want to become into so let's say you want to start waking up early every day you're writing these down you're gonna say something like i wake up every day at 5 a.m go to my pilates class every day or every tuesday at 8 a.m basically doing while you're writing these down it's like you're telling your brain that's who i am right your your brain like shifts identity and like your mindset so now instead of being the person that you used to are you're being the person who you're writing about the person who you want to become after you finish that that's when the fun really begins now you're going to be opening apps like pinterest or pixely or those other free stock pictures you know that you see online that you, and you could either download it and then print them out or you could even save them and then go to a different or go to your local like walgreens or cvs to get them printed out my poster book. let me show y'all now this is gonna be my poster board it's big yes this is all I got. I'ma go find some pictures and then we could paste them on, okay? back it's the next day and i got all my pictures printed out let's get gluing it's dark a few hours has passed but let me tell you it's because i was trying to find tape and i couldn't find tape because someone like tape the vision board down with like heavy duty tape but i only got scotch tape so i'm gonna figure it out i finished doing my first ever vision board here's some few tips that i learned while doing this one would be make sure your pictures are different sizes because if they're all if they're all the same size you might not have enough space for all your pictures i have an hp office jet printer and i use the canon uh glossy pro number two or something like that photo paper to like print out the pictures and it was my first time printing photos on my uh, printer so I wasn't really sure how to do it but once that I figured it out I was like oh okay oh, okay I get it now another tip would be using clear tape 
to tape it down because what I did I got scotch tape right because this was only with the only thing that I found and like I got the tape right and then I did like this little thing where you flip it around and you tie like this like you know what I mean I folded it and then I put it behind the pictures but I just feel like if it would just look more pleasing to just tape it all together on top because I did also tape the scotch tape on top of the pictures but scotch tape is like matte so it just like mattifies the picture quality and it just looks different so I would use clear heavy duty tape if you have some to just tape it all down because the way that I was moving things around after I already organized like, ruined the setup in a way. I mean, it still came out fine. Like, I still like it. I still appreciate it. But if you want it to look like how you organized it, I would say use clear heavy-duty tape to tape it down how you like it. Another thing would be try not to overuse photos, maybe, I would say. Because I did print out some pictures that I didn't end up using. But I think that was also because they were just too big. And I didn't size them down right. So sizing is important. I feel like sizing matters in this case. In this case. When I first tried using printing out my photos using like regular printer paper. The ink just felt too heavy. So I don't know if it was because I try to use very colorful type of pictures. But I would not really recommend using just regular printer paper i mean you could still do it but if it's like heavy on the color side i would just be cautious about when trying to do it because i first did print it out and then it was just it just didn't look right and then there was streaks on some i would recommend using photo like printer <coughs> photo paper or you could use magazines you know i see a lot of people use magazines for sure magazines are great too but if you're trying to print something out, just be cautious or just beware when you're printing, like when you're printing stuff that are heavy colored. I think those are my only tips and tricks besides, like I said earlier in the video, write down like what you want, what your goals, and then write a letter to yourself in that present past tense. I explained it more earlier on. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you liked. Let me know if you did your vision board and what are some goals on your vision boards this year. Like, And if you did one last year, how did it turn out? Like, Did you do your goals? Like, Did you keep yourself accountable? That's. But let me know if you liked it. Give it a big thumbs up. And let me know if something in this video helped you out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.